Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing yet another movie review for you all, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a science fiction horror film from the United States, English language, released in the year 2024, directed by Feta Alvarez, and this film is called Alien Romulus. So Alien Romulus is set on a planet that is besieged by darkness, the sun doesn't rise, and there's a lot of disease going around. So a lot of people are dying, a lot of people are, are living in fear. So a group of people have dreams of a better life on another planet that takes nine years to get to. So this planet is said to have less disease, the sun rises, and so is definitely the destination that's sought after. So the group of people, they realize that they can't get there legally. And so in order to get there illegally, they're going to have to steal some parts off an abandoned space station nearby. So they get to this abandoned space station, they look for what they, they want, they actually see what they want, but this is where they realize that there's a life form with them that is uh, growing as they speak, and now this growing life form is posing a grave threat to their existence. And so what happens at that point on? Something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Alien Romulus. If I was to tell you guys that I was a massive fan of this franchise, I'd be lying. Now I appreciate what this franchise did for Sigourney Weaver and you know the female gender as far as action heroes are concerned. I appreciate the fact that you know the first movie by Ridley Scott was an expert you know, masterclass in psychological tension. The second movie by James Cameron was an expert sort of masterclass in action slash horror. And so those two movies really stood out as far as my childhood was concerned. I really liked those movies. But the problem with the franchise, it just didn't capture me after the second movie and so the whole the movies they weren't terrible but they just weren't that memorable and so as far as a franchise is concerned I'm not a massive fan which is the reason why I wasn't overly excited when Alien Romulus came out a lot of people have been hyping this up but for me I was going to give this movie every opportunity to impress me on a very fair level because of the fact I'm not a massive fan so the passion wasn't there but the reason why the curiosity was there is because Feta Alvarez is the director now he directed the remake of Evil Dead that I thought was fantastic Don't Breathe that I thought had a lot of interesting qualities about and so he really understands what horror is. And so coming into the Alien franchise, I was, I was actually curious as to see whether or not this could be an Alien film that took me back to my childhood when I watched the first two. So that's saying something, that's a massive expectation, but I was hoping, you know, Feta Alvarez combining with the Alien franchise could make something that was really going to stand out. So having my fingers crossed that I was going to get an entertaining experience after watching Alien Romulus, that's exactly what I got. This movie is very entertaining, although it does have some glaring problems that prevented me from absolutely loving it, I will say that it's definitely time well spent. There's a lot worse out there and it's definitely a director who understands what horror is and also what science fiction is and the Alien franchise. He does pay a lot of respect to that franchise and so if you are a, a fanatical sort of fan, you're going to really like what Feta Alvarez brings to the table. Now what I loved about this movie was the sense of atmosphere, the sense of desperation. What's at stake? Why are these people trying to get out of the predicament that they're in? And so the predicament is very claustrophobic. I thought the atmosphere was fantastic. The cinematography, there's no sun. It feels very dirty. There's a lot of coughing. There's a lot of disease. And so I felt really dirty watching it. And so I wanted these characters to get out of this dilemma because of how uncomfortable I was feeling as I was actually watching it take place. And this is something that he does with the Evil Dead remake and also Don't Breathe. Very tight and claustrophobic atmospheres that really draws the breath out of the viewer. And so at the start of the movie, although something not particularly interesting is happening, I still feel felt as though it was capturing me around the neck and my, my oxygen levels were going, getting lower and lower. And so the atmosphere I thought was very dirty, very intense, and it really seeps through the screen and it really sets the mood for what this movie is going to be. So the desperation there, the, the desperation's there, therefore the motive for actually getting out of this uh, predicament I thought was there as well. And so I was going along the journey with them. So when they get to this space station, I thought it really sets up the template as far as horror is concerned. I thought as though it played a character of its own because it was very isolated and it was very vast. And when you actually know what's going on inside here, this is where it really kicks into gear as far as horror is concerned. So if you are a fan of the Alien franchise, you're going to really like the way that the, uh, the, the creatures actually looked. I thought it were very practical effects, and so I thought that's the throwback to the good old-fashioned days where horror was taken very seriously. And so this is a movie that does have a very solid platform, and Feta Alvarez is actually taking the Alien franchise seriously instead of just cashing in off the name in a lazy attempt. So the characters, as they go through these predicaments, I thought there were some really uncomfortable Comfortable moments. I thought there were some very, very creepy moments, bordering on genuine scares, and the the, the overall sense of panic in the movie was you know, really through the roof. It was breakneck speed, and so I thought, all right, I don't want to get captured, and I don't want these characters to get captured because of the nasty consequences that are around the corner. 
So the acting was fairly decent. I thought there were some character uh, actors there that I really hadn't heard of before, and they do fairly decent jobs uh, at you know being that vessel of terror, being that vessel that you're actually uh, putting yourself into their shoes, and you're actually going along on the ride. So it's a very vivid sort of uh, experience, and that's something that I, I expected from Fede Alvarez, and that's something that I got. So practical effects, some very genuine scares, should have actually added up to a really, really good film, but unfortunately there were issues. Now the biggest issue to Alien Romulus is that if you've seen the other films, this movie just felt like a collage of homages. Now there is uh, references to Alien, the first film, there's references to James Cameron's Aliens, there's references to Prometheus, and so there's a lot of uh, aspects of this movie that I felt it's throwing in there for the Alien horror fan, but for me, as far as the movie of its own identity, I thought as though it struggled to actually get that identity, make a shadow of its own, actually progress the Alien franchise. So if you haven't seen Alien and you actually watched this movie, I thought it right, was definitely a good way to spend you, your time. But as far as a franchise and the progression of a franchise is concerned, this movie, I felt as though it struggled to actually create something different. I thought as though it was repeating a lot of things that had been done in the franchise before. And so it's throwing in something there from Alien. It's throwing in something there from Aliens. It's throwing in something there from Prometheus. And so it's paying those respects. But unfortunately, at the same time, it's not really creating a, an identity of its own and a shadow of its own. And so I kept thinking as so this was a fan a sort of a fan made movie of a director who's grown up with the franchise but as I said he's throwing in their th th uh, things in there to actually please the alien franchise fans but as far as actually making something that uh, evolves the franchise I thought as though it really struggled in that way and so that was ultimately a problem I had with the movie and another issue I had for the film it's way too long I thought as though it could have finished quite a few times before it actually did and I just thought it dragged on and on a little bit and it started to outstay its welcome I thought it made its point it needed to finish but unfortunately it just didn't know how to and so it goes on and on and on and by the end of it I was getting a little bit impatient I wanted it to finish and so that was ultimately an issue I had with it as well so it doesn't know when to finish the self-awareness as far as its length is concerned was no you know wasn't great and also the fact that I felt as that was a fan-made sort of movie throwing in elements that you've seen before but failing to create elements of its own I thought all right well yeah the, the way that the aliens look uh, you know what happens in the film just a lot of really impressive qualities to it, but unfortunately not enough quality or qualities of its own to evolve a franchise. And so yeah, that was the issues I had with the film, but pushing them aside, I still had a lot of fun watching it, and I'm sure a lot of people out there will as well. So overall, for Alien Romulus, going to give this one three and a half stars. It was enjoyable. Go out there and see it. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, you watch movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.